So um, I guess I'll, I'll share the story to becoming a messenger, what I, what I call a messenger. So yes, I spent the first 20 years of my life in the real estate industry. And at the end of that career, I was the national chairperson for my trade association. Uh, I was um, kind of leading that organization. We represented one in eight homeowners in the country. I was the volunteer lead of that um, organization. And I was also building with two partners, 51 single family houses, 56 apartments and an office building. And I had a spiritual awakening and, um, the spiritual awakening came as a result of starting a yoga practice, which came as a result of injuring my knee skiing. So I injured my knee skiing. I went to see the physical therapist for about six weeks. And then I said, what do you think about this yoga thing? And He said to me, as long as you don't hurt, you know, if if it doesn't, as long as nothing hurts, you can do it. If something hurts, just don't do that thing. So I started a yoga practice and pretty much, I think my yoga practice started in about May of 2001 and pretty quickly within months, within three or four months, I had a spiritual awakening and I in that moment, it was, it happened to be in a uh, yoga class. I was under the tree at final Shavasana. She took us out to the park on a beautiful August day. And my third eye just burst open and I could see angels and golden white orbs of light going up and down this beautiful golden staircase, which was kind of weird for a real estate developer to be seeing that way at that time. And when I sat up and opened my physical eyes, everyone in the park was a golden white orb of light. So that was pretty interesting. And thankfully I had the yoga community so that I didn't take myself off to the psychiatrist and get a big fat prescription. 